A few lucky students from Ontario are getting an opportunity that is out of this world. Teams from four schools are this year's winner of a national space competition, and they are now getting the chance to interact with technology that will be part of Canada's next space mission. The CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick is at a middle school in Mississauga, Ontario, that has one of the winning teams, and Megan joins me now. Hey, Megan, so tell us a little bit about what's going on behind you right now. Well, now they're having a well-deserved lunch, Arthi, because <laughs> these students have been hard at work roving around the moon for the last two hours. So uh, thanks to winning a national contest, they got the chance to remotely operate a lunar rover machine. It was physically located in a, a testing warehouse in Stratford, Ontario. It's built by a Canadian company called Canadensis. And... Uh, they were split into teams, these students, and each of them had a different role. Some were navigating the rover, some were driving it, some were the scientists, and their mission was to find water on the moon. And I bet you want to know if they accomplished their mission, Arthi. Let's have one of the navigators tell us about it. Tell us your name. Arjun. And tell us what your role was in today's mission. I was one of the navigators. And so what did you have to do? So we had to plan the route for the rover to find ice. And did you find it? Yes, we found one uh, thing of ice. So okay. how exciting was that? Brilliant. It was so much fun. We all jumped up in excitement. I know we were in here when it happened. There were high fives and hugs. What were some of the challenges, though, in trying to find the ice and the water on the moon? It was. I would say it was kind of hard to see where we were on the map, so it, we couldn't get a good tell of where we were, which made it a lot harder to find the ice and find where the crater, cr craters were. So that was a big difficulty that we had. And you had to be mindful of the battery life of the rover, right? Yeah, that's true. Cause it, and then the temperature got too low, and then oh. next thing you know, it was too high. So we had to go into the shadows, we had to go into the light. It was tough. So that was not easy, roving around. <laughs> so are you interested in space? Do you love it? Is this kind of cool? What do you think? I thought this was quite cool. I think this could be a career in the future. Um, but yeah, this was, uh, this was a great opportunity and you never know what could happen. Awesome. Okay, we'll let you go have your pizza. You deserve it. <laughs> Thanks. We want to bring in one of the teachers here, Arthi, to tell us more about the contest that these students won. Thousands of students participated across Canada in the contest. It's run by a group called Let's Talk Science in partnership with these space companies, Avalon and Canadensis. This is Eric, the grade six teacher here at Lisgar. Tell us why you wanted to enter your students in this contest, Eric. So our students are part of a program called IBT, which is International Business and Technology. So we kind of wanted to give them an opportunity to get their hands kind of dirty with the science that we've been learning and apply what we've been learning in our science and have them actually see what it takes to take to bring something to the moon, uh, to bring a rover on the surface of the moon. It's not very easy, as, as Arjun was mentioning. And so they had to put a project together and pitch it, and then judges uh, evaluated the entries from across the country. And I know this wasn't your first time entering. Right. So we entered last year. And we weren't successful, uh, but we used the feedback that we got last year and we gave it to the students. Um, and they were so successful. So they took the feedback, they used it, they applied it, and they learned from their mistakes. And that's a big part of this process, was that they are going to make mistakes and they are going to fail. And that's part of it. And how can they work collaboratively? How can they problem solve and find a solution that worked? And so they were able to do that. They pitched their presentation. And they were selected. They were the only elementary school in all of Canada to be selected. Yeah, the only grade six. It was open to grade six to grade nine schools across Canada. So the youngest winners here, Arthi. And there was a lot of excitement in this classroom. Describe for our viewers what the last two hours were like in here, Eric. The beginning was good. And then all of a sudden, a lot of yelling, a lot of screaming. They realized that their temperature was too low. And so their rover could essentially stop working. So they really had to work together and figure out, okay, how can we make sure that this rover is not dying? Uh, once they did that, they got it uh, into the sun, they warmed it up, they were successful, and then all we hear is cheering and screaming. It's really energetic, really lively, um, and, and as you saw, the students are so engaged, they're so uh, excited to be part of something that's really history. Yeah, because part of this is trying to get students in, uh, interested in Canada's role in space exploration, with Canada playing a role in the Artemis missions coming up. So are they paying attention now to more, more attention, perhaps, to Canada's role in space? I think they definitely are. They will be watching when this launches whenever in a few years. Uh, they're going to know that they're part of that because this is the first rover ever to be launched uh, from a Canadian space agency. And so do you think you'll be entering again and again every year? Hopefully you've started a tradition now? Definitely. If we can, we will. 
whatever is opportunity is presented by Let's Talk Science, we will apply. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eric. Good to talk to you. And so, Arthi, this was one of four schools across the country that won the contest. The others are in Abbotsford, British Columbia, in Markham, and Canada, in uh, Ottawa. And so students in those cities will get their chance in the coming days to operate the lunar rover just like these students did here in Mississauga today. Arthi? What an awesome opportunity for these kids. Thanks for this, Megan. That is the CBC's Megan Fitzpatrick reporting.